is Nachika Trott, and I'm the Division Chair for Liberal Arts here at Bermuda College. In order for any faculty member to teach at Bermuda College, they must have a master's in their respective discipline. Within the Division of Liberal Arts, we are very pleased to have one-third of our faculty with a variety of PhDs from a variety of prestigious organizations in the United Kingdom, the U.S., and Canada. As Division Chair of Liberal Arts, we have many responsibilities. We oversee courses, we look into faculty enhancement of teaching, and we plan a variety of events for our students to enhance their college experience. In the Division of Liberal Arts of each academic year, we offer a variety of activities for our students. Some of those activities include Quran Science Week, the English Literature Series, Colloquiums, and Brown Bag Lunches. Quran Week is an opportunity to have Bermudian scientists to share their research. Some of our past Quran visiting scholars have been Dr. John Otterbridge, Dr. Malcolm Brock, and Dr. Sheldon Hilder. Within the Division of Liberal Arts, our faculty lead many initiatives, such as the English Literature Series, the Film Series, and the Bermuda College Art Gallery. Our faculty also use a variety of learning tools to enhance student learning. If you I'm Dr. Jolene Bean, and I teach history. I videotape students as they acted out scenes from a book called The History of Mary Prince a Bermudian slave. This was a fun assignment, not only because students got to work together to complete this exercise, but also because they got to see themselves on the big screen afterwards. Hi, my name is Alnisha Simmons, and I'm a biology lecturer here at the Bermuda College. I teach anatomy and physiology. A major component of our physiology labs is use of the BioPack data acquisition system. Today we are measuring muscle motor recruitment and fatigue. The BioPack machine will record the muscle activity and bring the information up on a screen of her muscle activity. She is employing more than one motor unit and as she reaches her maximum recruitment, the force will not get any higher on the graph. There are certain inherent advantages to taking a liberal arts degree at Bermuda College. The lecturers here, the faculty, are able to localize our knowledge base. So for example, in sociology, if I wish to explain the notion of scripted behaviors, we can introduce how Bermudians came to use expressions such as good morning because it was introduced into our education curriculum in the 1940s. This came about as a result of surveys that have been conducted with respect to tourism in which it was felt that your grandparents weren't as polite as they claimed to have been. A liberal arts education does not just prepare students to transfer abroad, but it also equips them with many tools to use as they enter the work field. So many of our students have the opportunity to go into Hamilton to work or transfer to a variety of institutions in the U.S., Canada, the U.K., and the Caribbean. Hi, my name is Justin Simmons. I'm currently a liberal arts student at Bermuda College. I want to further my studies in the U.K. My name is Natasha Hurst. I am a liberal arts student and I plan to go to the States to continue my education. When I graduate from Bermuda College, I plan to get into the United States. My name is Taisha Oswald. I'm a, li a liberal arts student. Once I finish Bermuda College, I plan on going to the United States to further my education. Hi, my name is Michael Skater. Um, one, I'm in the liberal arts program and once I finish here, I'm going to go to the UK or Canada. Hi, my name is Renal and I am a liberal arts student. Once I complete Bermuda College, I plan to go either to the UK or the Caribbean to further my education.